How are we doing today, guys? It's Jesse, the common nerd with Vets Talking, giving you all of your pop culture news and information out there. And today, boys and girls, we've got a very interesting one because as one of our favorite things to do is make fun of all of those weirdos out there on the internet that have absolute meltdowns when things simply don't go their way and when they feel like they're being chastised because somebody, some racism or some other kind of nonsense is going on out there in the public. Well, one of the things that I love to do personally and I think you're going to enjoy as well over here on Vets Talking is to make fun of these weirdos, these wokeies, those nut jobs out there, those little psychopaths who have no idea what they are actually talking about and having complete meltdowns over things that simply are immutable characters that really shouldn't, characteristics that really shouldn't matter in any way, shape, or form, especially in the modern era that where we all know and understand the actual realities of the world. Well, boys and girls, that does not stop them from having absolute meltdowns online when something that turned out to be nothing more than a scheduling error gets corrected and now a lot of the fans have rejoiced because a voice actor is now back in their proper place. Well, of course, that doesn't matter to the weirdos out there on the internet. It doesn't matter to some of their fellow voice actors either because they are absolutely losing their minds over the fact that the Western voice actors, uh, they brought back Wenda Lee as Yuriko for Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War. Yes, boys and girls, Bleach, one of the number one selling mangas out there in the world, one of the top tier animes, one of the ones that people put up there with the top big three. Of course, the woke weirdos out there are coming after them. They're having absolute meltdowns over this where something that turns out was something more than nothing more than normal. But of course, that doesn't mean that anything to them. They believe these companies are simply kowtowing to all of these racists out there who are simply fans of the original source material and fans of the original voice actor. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all for the fact that they're rejoicing. But one of the best things they do around here is not only tell you all of the information that's currently going on with what this has got going, but also make fun and laugh at all of these woke weirdos out there who simply don't understand the fan base and are simply trying to hijack an already existing IP for their own weird, freaky ways. So we're going to check out this article from Bounding Into Comics, get into all of the juicy details and see exactly what's going on and what the real reason why this voice actress is getting restored to her proper role inside of Bleach. But before we do, if you do enjoy our content, especially now that we're trying pop culture stuff over here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, because we probably will get some new viewers in with all of this, and leave us a comment down below. All of those things encourages the algorithm, letting them know that you guys enjoy this pop culture content, you like the little bit of the variety that's coming on over here, and that will push that stuff out there. And also, if you do enjoy my content, if you enjoy, if you want to see more of me, please go check out my Rumble account at The Common Nerd. The link will be right scrolling down here along the bottom as I say these words. Go check us out there on Rumble because YouTube did nuke my channel. But fortunately enough, they can't stop me from working for another channel. You can't stop the signal. So come find me on Rumble at The Common Nerd. All right, so let's check out this article and we get into all of the juicy details. So Western voice actors cry racism after Viz Media recasts Annalis Quinones, brings back Wenda Lee as Yorke for Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. And I do apologize to all of the Bleach fans out there if I butcher any of these names. I am not, I know of Bleach, I've watched some of Bleach, I really enjoy it, but at the end of the day, if your fandom is getting to attacked, and I believe it's by all of those weirdos out there, I will gladly come in clutch and defend you. And honestly, one of the first ones that I did way back on my channel was One Piece, and that one ended up paying off because boys and girls, we got a beautiful One Piece live action over there on Netflix, and now the world has set fire to all of it. So here's a strange thought, and it looks like this is the wise decision. Listen to your your fans and will make you successful. A number of English language vo and stop listening to weirdos like this. A number of English language voice actors have accused Viz Media of racism over a, their decision to have Yorikai Shinoe's original voice actress, Wenda Lee, notice original voice actress, the person who did it before this new person was brought in. Wenda Lee, rather than her temporary and more diverse successor, Anaris Quinones, portray the ninja in Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. As previously reported, Quinones was originally cast as Yoriko after a purported scheduling snafu left Viz Media and dubbing studios Stupopolis with the belief that Lee was unavailable to reprise the role for Thousand Year Blood War. This is a role she has already played. This is someone who the fans are already accustomed to her voice. You would want to continue on with her if you absolutely possibly could because trust me it will as a fan of any any fan that's watched anything animated whether it be Disney whether it be Disney whether it be Marvel whether it be DC whether it be anime right if you listen to any of these any of these kind of voices for a long period of time it is totally going to throw you off for a loop if they go and change it the entire time 
It's really one of my things. Like I'm watching the uh, the um, the dubbed version of One Piece right now, and it keeps throwing me off because Krillin and Piccolo, the same voice actors, are play two characters in that show as well, and it's really hard for me to separate Piccolo from Zoro, and it keeps throwing me off. But I'm kind of getting better about it now. But either way, that's just one of those things. That's how it will throw you off because we all recognize these voices. We remember them. However, after it was brought to the studio's attention, thanks assumedly in no spark to the fan backlash to the recasting because yes, fans want the person they're familiar with. That voice actress was not only available, but also still interested in the role. Biz Media changed course and gave the part back to Lee, which is exactly what they should do. This is what the fans want, and clearly this is who they should have gone with if they could, and clearly they can now. This was a misunderstanding that Yora Shorn was part of the list of the original cast members who were unavailable to participate in Bleach Thousand Year War, explained the studio's official statement. In an error, our casting coordinator offered Arenas Quinnis the role. By the time this error came to our attention, it was too late to correct before episode 20 was released. We would like to take this opportunity to apologize once again and express how much we appreciate their talents and enjoy working with Anaris and Wendy who will both continue to add their voices work to Bleach Thousand Year Blood War with Wendy as Yoriko Shunan and Anaris as Hiro Sarukagi. I don't know. Either way, it's not like the chick's even gone. It's not like she's even fi fired. She's just voicing another character. But of course, that doesn't matter to these weirdos because these weirdos thought that it wasn't just a scheduling conflict. No, they thought that these animation studios had kowtowed to their requests and it actually were bending the knee to the woke mob. But it turned out that was not the case at all. And now that the rug has been pulled out, un out from under them about all of this. Now they are absolutely flipping out. And that's the enjoyable part right here from this guy. This is the voice of Terry and the Dragon Prince. Never heard of it. Have you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. He says, recasting your is not a harmless act. Actions like this set a standard for racist bigots who we'll watch the show. It tells them, if we scream loud enough, we can get POC uncast. No, dude. It was a scheduling conflict. And now they can get the original voice actress back. And yeah, did it probably have something to do with the fact that fans were upset about this? But this is the exact same kind of nonsense that we saw in with Star Wars. This is the exact same kind of nonsense that we have seen with Marvel. We have, this is the exact same kind of nonsense we've seen with some of the DC stuff. Oh, you're just a bunch of racist bigots because you don't like the fact that a black, strong black female lead replaced your, the character you've known for 20 years. Yeah, that's an issue. That's a problem. That's like when they take a strong male lead character especially in the case of it being Caucasian or even sometimes other races or how about your sexuality? Hey, Green Lantern fans out there, how you enjoying your OG Green Lantern getting turned into a guy that likes to suck dick? How's that make you feel? Okay, this is the exact same kind of, these are the weirdos right here that did all of that shit that caused this nonsense because people used to listen to them. Fortunately enough, boys and girls, times are a changing and that's not the case at all. Studios, stand behind your POC voice actors. The fact that we have to keep saying this is disgusting. And here's the best part. This is not going to change. These weirdos out there are officially screaming out into the void. They don't matter anymore. The jig is finally up. So this chick, Vanessa Bonnot, the English voice actor of Yuko Akadia in Face Studios' Girls Idol Project. Don't know if that's any good, but it sounds kind of woke to me. I don't know. Declared Quinn's uncasting was, this shit is the reason why POC buzz are so, are so vocal about accurate representation and casting. That's right, because remember, boys and girls, unless you're a Jew, you can't voice a Jewish character. Unless you're black, you can't voice a black character. And wait a minute. Unless you're Asian, how are you supposed to voice an Asian character? Aren't some of these? I mean, I don't know what these characters' races are implied as, if it's even actually probably mentioned, which it's probably not. But you automatically see a brown-skinned person and automatically assume they're a Mexican. How racist is that shit? Because last time I checked, there are dark-skinned people all over the place. Have you seen the Philippines lately? But that's okay, because reality doesn't actually matter to these psychopaths. The only thing that matters is ag their agenda and then pushing it on to these studios. This shit is the reason why POC bars, voice actors are vocal about accurate representation and casting. Every time we take a step forward, the discriminatory decisions of big companies make us take several steps backward. This whole thing is generally vile. Oh, you poor sweet flower. Now, this is another guy who provides the voice of a Thunderbolt game and Master Detective. Never heard of it, said. Generally speaking, it's cool when productions don't know how racist losers throwing tantrums about diversity hires and their anime subs. 
Oh, it's cool when productions don't kowtow to racist losers, but it's okay, which you can call them racist losers. I think they're actually just fans who want the original source material respected and the actual original voice actors that they all knew and or, or enjoyed actually stuck with that. But of course that doesn't matter. But you know what? It's okay when they kowtow to your demands, isn't it? Bah, see? It's always just a one-way street. So here's this other idiot. This guy apparently voiced Eret in How to Train Your Dragon. It's really noticeable, by the way. And of course, look at this. He's got all the stupid little gay shit, all the queer stuff in his freaking little thingies right there, right? It's really noticeable, by the way, that some anime fans will happily rail on dubs and shit for years and then suddenly be extremely invested in their integrity and quality when doing so means a talented black actress can have abuse hurled at her. Show me the receipts. I want to see it. If there are fans out there saying racist things to her, I will absolutely call them out. But at the end of the day, we know what this is actually about, right? It's about their agenda. It's about their priority. They thought by screaming on the internet, they had gotten their way and they had changed a character with a new voice actor instead of the original one. They called it a championship for representation. Except the fans hated it because the voice actors don't sound the right. It's a voice actress or actor. I don't care what they look like. Do they sound the part? Are their inflections right? Do they do a good job? Do they put proper emotion in? Is the voice, is it the same one that I've known forever? Is there a legitimate reason to recast them? No. In this case, no. And they corrected it. They fixed it because of a simple scheduling error. But reality doesn't matter to these weird, woke weirdos, these cult members, these people possessed by the spirit of the age on the internet. No, 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 no. Reality doesn't matter. The only thing that matters to them is whatever they think the warped image inside of their mind should how be the real world is. Well, guess what, you weirdos on the internet? You're losing, you're lost. Nobody's paying attention to you more anymore. You're simply screaming into the void. And now all of those bleach thousand year blood war fans can actually be happy that they're going to have the proper voice actress restored to her proper place in the series after nothing more than a simple scheduling conflict. But hey, boys and girls, that's just my common sense. Take a minute to think about all this in the comments section down below. Does any of this surprise you at all or in these weak, woke weirdos? Are you so glad to hear that a lot of these companies aren't actually kowtowing to these people anymore and kneeling to their demands? Or do you think that something like this might actually end up causing a problem and they maybe they'll end up switching and reversing their decision? Let me know what you think about all that in the comments section down below. If you do enjoy our comment content over here at Vets Talk, and make sure you hit that like button, share it with all your friends, and subscribe if you are not already. This is Jesse, the common nerd over on Rumble with Vets Talking, your pop culture news host. As always, thanks for watching. Oh, oh God! Ah!